Hey folks, I'm going to super quickly go through some code for plotting first order systems in Python. And so uh, I have a lot of this commented out. Um, basically, I have some data here. Here's time data and here's temperature data. And I use this for a different project. So I subtracted off 42 here so that it would go to zero. And so if you, if you run this, you just get this uh, data here. Here's the initial condition and it ramps down to zero. Um, probably throw a grid down and then a uh, X label time in seconds and a, a Y label in a temperature. I'm assuming this is Celsius. And, oop, uh, let's see. Oop, I spelled label wrong. So here's essentially an example of, you know, you have a, a thermometer that's at room temperature or a little bit hotter, and then you dunk it in some ice water, and this is kind of how it settles out. So if you look at this, the initial condition is, I don't know, 27 degrees. And so if you want to compute the time constant, you have to say take 27 times 68%, which is 18.36, and then, oops, sorry, you need to find the time where the temperature hits, oh shoot, um, 27 minus that. Oh no, I didn't want to do a new, a new one. So I want to do uh, 27 minus this. And so when the temperature gets to 8.7 degrees, that is one time constant. So that is about here. So that's like what, like 10.5? So that means I've got, I'm gonna go ahead up here and I'm gonna put a, see it says here guess and check, but you don't actually need to do that. I'm gonna say my time constant is tau is one divided by um, 10.5, okay? And then basically my A is gonna be one divided by tau. So tau is, or A is essentially, um, a is essentially 10.5, but it is what it is. Anyway, so I may have this I may have this equation wrong. I think this equation is wrong. I think I think this is actually tau. That would make sense, right? Because this would be because this is in units of one over seconds, and this is in units of temperature per second, and so this would be temperature, and that would be temperature per second, temperature, temperature per second. Um, that would make more sense there. So um, my final temperature is zero, okay? And then by the way, so here are my imports. So I'm importing numpy, I'm importing matplotlib to plot, and I'm also importing scipy.integrate. And this here is my uh, first order system. So I have my final temperature zero, I have my time constant, and then I have my equations of motion. So if you look at your equations of motion in, in, in homogeneous form, um, you're gonna get T dot is equal to, plus tau times T equals tau times, times TC, like that. So uh, in this case, you have a, you have a system here where if you want to solve for T dot, you just move this to the other side. And since tau TC is zero, this just goes away. So you just get T dot is negative, and T dot is negative tau times T. And then you return T dot. So this derivative routine, you give it a temperature and a time, and it returns what the derivative is. So then what you do down here is you make a time vector where you go from zero to 30 seconds for a thousand seconds, and then you give it the derivatives routine and then the initial conditions. And the initial conditions was 27. And then you give it the time vector and it's gonna output the simulated data T out. And then all you have to do is just plot that simulated data on top of it. And if we got our time constant right, um, it lo that looks uh, pretty good. It looks like our initial condition is a little off. This is like 27.8. So we can change this to 27.8. And then it looks like this is maybe not fast enough. I don't know, it's not grabbing this. So maybe, maybe our time constant is a little slow. So maybe we try like nine instead of 10. And I don't know, see now we're getting on the other side of this data. I mean, data is not perfect, right? So this is essentially like a way where you can estimate the time constant here and uh, and go for there. And I, I might I might be wrong here with my my naming convention here. And I I think 
yeah, I think that's what it is. My, my time constant is, is nine seconds. And then my A parameter is, is one divided by tau. And then this needs to be A, and this needs to be A. That's, that's what it is. Because um, your time constant is supposed to be un in units of seconds. That makes sense. Uh, so I, I apologize for that, that typo. Um, but all I did was just replace this with A. So then this, this matches the, uh, the derivation that I did on the board the other day. So this is A, T dot plus A T equals A T C. And then your tau is um, uh, how long it takes to, to get to 68% um, of the final value. And then uh, A, which is sort of your... This is sort of your like heat capacitance, capacitance variable is A is one divided by tau. Okay, um, this, this function I actually use in my controls class. And so I'm gonna push this to the cloud, but this is actually in my, if you look at my python.git, it's actually in the controls folder, first and second order project, because I, I typically do this as a project. Um, but this is a pretty simple project because I basically showed you how to do it. Okay, so all you need to do is if you get different data is just plug in your data set here and then you just need to, just like I did where you looked at the graph, you just need to grab you know, 68% and grab your time constant and then plug it into this equation here and you'll be good to go. Okay, all right, happy coding.